what's everybody? And we're taking a look at the SH Figure Arts Atachi version 1. So let's take a look at the box real quick here first. So you can see this is Tachi right there on the side in Japanese. And to know that you got a real one, the logo here for the Shapoon logo will be a sticker. And uh, But if it's printed, it's fake. So this is indeed a real one. So you got to take a look at the figure there. It's very nice box art. Got Tachi on the side there. And let's take a look at this side here. And you got the Mongeko Sharingan in his name. And there's the back right there. Got a nice little picture of the end battle Sasuke there with the Tachi. So that's the back of the box. And there's a side of the box with a nice picture of the figure. And there's the top of the box there. And there's not, not too much on the bottom. Uh, so let's take a look at him outside of the box. So here's Itachi outside of the box here, looking all cool and everything. Um, so this figure is a super expensive figure. He's not out anymore. And uh, there is actually a new one coming out pretty soon. Um, so yeah, he's very, very expensive. So let's take a look at him right here and some of his details while he's in the cloak. So this is a really nice Akatsuki robe. As you can see, the robe looks pretty nice. And it's a pretty clean robe, all things considered. Um, now, this robe is not really the best robe, um, in my opinion. Uh, there is actually a new one coming out, which I'll show right there. Uh, and it looks a lot better and fixes the whole robe issue. But, yeah, this figure does look pretty, pretty nice. Again, it is super expensive. It's like going for like almost $300 now. He's pretty hard to get. But man, the details on this thing are nice. Nice matte finish. It's a rubbery type of uh, plastic. So it's pretty malleable. Um, and it does look really, really good though. Uh, I don't like the fact that it's a bit stiff and it's pre-posed. But it does feel really good. It's very nicely sculpted. It looks so good. The head can move around pretty well in it. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's not too, too bad. And it does does look decently well. But there's other things to be better. And with the hair, um, it's actually black. I don't know why on the camera it's coming up as, like, a navy blue. Which is a bit odd. But it must be just some weird, like, kind of color, color toning or whatever. But... Yeah, so that's him with his robe, so let's get that robe off. So actually, when you do get the figure, um, here's how to take the robe off. So you take the robe off there, it just latches on with that tab, and Tachi will look like this. Because if you go to the accessory part in his box, and you'll be able to find these two arms. Now these arms have to be pegged in, because with the robe on, he can't have arms for some reason. So you see that peg right there? Um, you're just going to move the peg up just a little bit. You're going to place it in there. You're, you're going to want to tuck the shoulder into the top and just peg it in like so. Same thing with this arm here. Just move that peg up a little bit. It'll peg up in there. What you're going to do is just tilt it up a little bit. Make sure that, that shoulder is underneath that butterfly joint there and just peg it on in. And that's how you put the arms on there. So let's take a look at the articulation now that he's out of his cloak. So as far as the head goes, the head can only look up about that much, but he can look down quite a bit. He does have some side to side going on right there. The head does rotate. As for the arms, they are on a butterfly joint. They can move forward about that far, but can't move backward. So that's those there. And as for the arms, the arm can move up about that far. Go down about that far. His arm can go all the way around, but I'm trying to be careful because it is a, like, almost $300 figure. And he does have here. One second. I'm trying to make sure my lighting is a bit fixed. There we go. 
he does have a bicep swivel there at the shoulder which is weird because he doesn't have it at the actual bicep which is right there but it's at the shoulder which is a little bit odd he does have a double hinged elbow goes about that far past 90 degrees and he does have a rotation at the wrist because it is on a ball joint and it does hinge up and down goes up about that far and down about that far and as for his torso it is on two ball joints so you have one up there which is the diaphragm and you have one at the bottom right there at the waist and you can't crunch forward at all like not at all but he can crunch backward quite a bit which is pretty good wish he did crunch forward but he does have a little bit of waist swivel there due to the ball joint and as for the legs again i'm going to be careful because it is an expensive figure and that part right there is a hard piece of plastic so you're not going to get too much movement but as far as the movement for the legs it is on a drop down hinge if you can see that right there you just get this to focus see right there it is on a drop down hinge because this is the old style of figure arts so it, you drop the leg down like so and you just bend it up it's only going to move up about that far and as far as going back here just make sure i didn't break it, it goes back about that far he does have a double hinge knee it goes about that far and the foot goes down about that far goes up about that far there is some rotation at the foot and he does have a weird ankle pivot right there and he does have a toe hinge so it goes up about that far and back down so that's it for articulation let's take a look at some of the accessories he comes with i did forget to mention that itachi does have a thigh swivel so that is there but here is the tray with the accessories right there so you get his ponytail, three faces, couple hands, and of course I put the cloak back and you get an extra hand on the cloak right there. It comes with quite a bit of hands, so let's take a look at each accessory individually. So Itachi does come with these fists, an open hand and a pointing finger. Comes with the Sasuke uh, poking forehead hand. I don't know what else to call it, but that's what I'm gonna call it. it does come with two Jutsu hands. And you can put those jutsu hands together to uh, create more types of posing. He does come with two open hands right there if you want to use those for different posing. And as far as his head goes, he comes with this ponytail, which has that peg right there. That goes into that hole right there. You can just slot it in. And there you go. So as far as the faces, he comes packaged with this resting kind of Sharingan face. He does come with the Mangekyo screaming Sharingan face. Comes with the Mangekyo Sharingan face with a slight grit to his mouth, but I did place a uh, bleeding eye effect right there uh, on his face right there because he is bloodshot. And he, a little bit of spoilers, he has the um, the uh, uh, end battle with Sasuke uh, death face, so it's Satoshi's death face, which is a pretty good uh, face that he came with uh, to go along with that hand accessory. And in order to swap out the faces, so here we're going to take the resting face here. It has these pegs on the back right there. And what you're going to do is you're going to take off his hair piece first, which also has pegs on it. It just pegs up to the top right, top uh, holes right there. And you're going to take this face, take that out, which has the same pe pegs on the back. Uh, all the faces have the same type of uh, peg system. You're going to take those two pegs right there, place them on the bottom row, and just pop that in and you're going to take the hairpiece and put that back on and that's how you swap the faces now let's take a look at my upgrade to him so obviously here's the cloak he came with um it's rubbery it's honestly it's uh it's not doing it for me and it didn't do it for a lot of people either because they wanted a cloak that you can pose with and you can't really pose him with this cloak because you know while it is pliable it's very rubbery and you can't the only way to have them in there is without arms so putting this back together here and if i can get it back together there we go but putting this aside let's put a new cloak on them so i got this new cloak 
uh, that's way better than this one here. Um, I got this new cloak for him that uh, is made out of cloth, and I got it on eBay for only like 30 bucks. So here's the cloak. Looks pretty nice and everything. Uh, and we're going to put this on him. So let's just set him off to the side here for a second. Just take a look at the cloak. So it has these buttons on it. So you're just going to unsnap those buttons right there. And let's just take a look at the inside. The tailoring is really, really nice. It is a very lightweight, very thin fabric, so it doesn't look bulky on them at all. And these are screen printed on, so every cloud is screen printed. It does have a bendy wire too, which I'll show a little bit more of here. Um, so taking Atachi himself here, uh, you can actually keep the ponytail on while you have the cloak on. Um, you can position it any way you want. But anyway, in order to get the cloak on him here, we're just going to put the arm out just a little bit. We're just going to feed it through the first sleeve. And just make sure that goes all the way through right there. And so there's one side on. And then with the other arm, you're going to lift it up. And place it towards his back a little bit. You're going to bend the elbow. And you're just going to feed the other sleeve through. As if you were actually putting on a jacket. And just make sure you feed it through and articulate it while you're putting it on. And then take a look on the inside just to make sure you got the joint there on right. And it looks like it's about on right there. Just going to make sure that ponytail's not getting stuck. And there you go. It should be on. Just kind of fix it up just a little bit just to make sure everything's all proper. And uh, I like to button only the... The, uh, the bottom one, you can't have it fully buttoned up, but I only like to bu button the bottom one because I like to pop his collar out like he usually has. So just bending and using that bendy wire a little bit, we can create that look for him where it's popped out just a little bit there. And that looks really nice. And there's bendy wire all the way through it. it the figure poses really well with the cloak still on. And, yeah, it's a really, really good fabric cloak. This thing looks really nice, not bagging on them. And, like I said, there's bendy wire on it, so you can create some very nice dynamic posing. It's The bendy wire is all the way through it. And it looks really good when it comes to posing and everything. And you can do some really, like, dynamic wind type of posing with it. So... Yeah, that's my custom cloak for him. So let's take a look at some size comparisons. So here Itachi is next to his smaller version, which is the Ultimate Legends one that I did a quick review of there. So you see how they look together with the current Itachi. And here Itachi is with a Marvel Legends figure, which is a, a true six-inch scale. So, here's the uh, animated Spider-Man, which I'll be doing a video of soon. Um, so, that's how they look next to a Marvel Legends figure. So, that's not too bad. Not too far off. Here, Tachi is next to SH Figure Arts Naruto, the Sage Mode. Which I probably will be doing a figure on. I don't know. Maybe. Probably not. Because I, mine's a little incomplete. But, here... Atachi is next to a SH Figure Arts Spider-Man, so a non-SH Figure Arts Naruto type figure. So here, here he is next to the Toby figure there. And for one more final comparison, here he is next to the SH Figure Arts uh, current released uh, Sasuke. Just to see what they look like next to each other and some of the updates to articulation that have been made. So... Some final thoughts on the figure. It is a really good figure, but unfortunately, as good as a figure it is, it is pricey and expensive. Trust me. Because uh, when I bought this figure uh, first, the right leg on mine broke like the second day of having it. And then I had to search for a really long time just to find a replacement. Thankfully, a guy sold me his uh, Atachi body for only like 50 bucks. Uh, this is still the same body from the one I bought. I just switched over the, the leg portion. But, you know, Atachi is my favorite figure, and I wanted the best Atachi figure that I could get. And, obviously, the SH figure one was the best. 
Uh, now the cloak could use the up could use an upgrade, so I did get the upgrade uh, cloak for him, and he is perfect. This figure is amazing. A little bit dated articulation, but uh, the new one is coming out, so there will be a chance for everybody to get one. I did pre-order it, so I will be reviewing that one too and comparing it to the soldier one. Um, but yeah, I definitely I recommend this highly recommend this figure if you can find it for a good price. But unfortunately, it's like ranging like the three hundred dollar fucking range for some reason. But yeah, it's a really nice figure. I definitely recommend it good for any naruto fan and i know he's my favorite character so i wanted to get the best for him and uh, it's been one of my favorite figures ever since and one of my most prized ones and he gets in a lot of really great poses with that new cloak on but anyway make sure to like subscribe and i'll see you later